But if we have anything to say in terms of what has made us make it, I would say it is God, us, together. It is our faith together that has kept us together. Today this, at the Given Conference, it really is wonderful because you have everybody. You have married people and dating and engaged. I love speaking to couples because I think right now we're in a really particular time in our culture where marriage is really being attacked. And so I think first of all just to give couples hope and to make them know that, that they're wonderful witnesses of God's love and that we need them to, to really stand for that in our culture. And so I hope today was a good day for education. And um, so hopefully, you know, just a reminder of even our call to um, sacrifice into prayer and to really live our vocations deeply. It was a packed house. The variety of people, and just the camaraderie with everybody from the young, you know, been married for a year, not married at all yet, they're engaged, mm -hmm. all the way up to, you know, 42 years. It was good for us to take time away from our kids to have just the time for the two of us. And as our kids get older, we're starting to realize how important it is to have other families that we see at church that share our faith and have our values. And beautiful to grow and learn about the important things like the beautiful thing that God offered to be open to life, open to the creation. Uh, it was nice to hear about the role of the, the father of family to protect and care for um, the family and, and guard the home and it was nice to uh, to think and reflect on that a little bit. I was reminded that we were entering into a sacrament <laughs> which seems like a really simple idea but um, going through all the wedding preparation in the last few months I kind of lost sight of the fact that we're entering into a very holy calling.